Here's some pickups. Uh, these are a combination of garage sales and also thrift stores. Um, I got more than just this, but I'll start off with the t-shirts. This was actually all from one garage sale. Uh, I found a bunch of wrestling t-shirts. Here's a CM Punk t-shirt. <clears throat> these are all size medium. Um, I actually just a couple days ago sold this exact shirt. Uh, it was a different size, but for $20. Um, the lady was asking five bucks a piece on these, and um, there's four of them. I offered her twelve dollars, so three piece, and she took it. So, yeah, um, they're all pretty good condition too. And I typically, I might keep some. Probably not this one though. Here's a CM Punk one. <clears throat> yeah, these are all like um, the WWE authentic wear too. That one, we got this RKO, so Randy Orton shirt. This one's pretty cool. These are like right up at the front of the sale. And um, I just grabbed them instantly. Yeah, that's pretty cool, Randy Orton. Also have another CM Punk shirt. This one has like a graphic instead. This one looks cooler in my opinion. <clears throat> this one, yeah, it's blank on the back. And here's the Seth Rollins one. This one I might actually keep for sure. Uh, yeah, this one's cool. <clears throat> this this era of wrestling is a little bit out of my um, <clears throat> my time when I watched it, but I do like Seth Rollins. CM Punk, I kind of missed that whole thing. And then this last shirt was from uh, Sabres, so a thrift store. Um, I paid up for this one. I paid five bucks. It wasn't on sale. Matt and Kim. <clears throat> when I first saw this, uh, like this could be a TV show. This is some indie like electronic duo band. Um, but you wouldn't really know that just by the name Matt and Kim. It could be, yeah, like a TV show or like, I don't know, a comic series. I don't know. It could be anything. But what made me give a second look at it is uh, a lot of band shirts are on uh, American Apparel. So if you see an American Apparel tag, it doesn't mean it's a band shirt, but, you know, they can be. So I saw the American Apparel, and I looked up at if this was a band. And there are um, shirts of... Uh, this on eBay, but not this exact one. And people are asking like a bit for him. This is, this is an example of those obscure bands that like the shirts can do really well because there's not a lot of them up. And um, yeah, so I paid the five bucks for this, but I will, uh, I will price it higher. I typically don't pay you know that much for a T-shirt, but I decided to pick this one up. Yeah, fortunately it wasn't on sale. And I'll show you some other stuff too. Here's the other other items aside from T-shirts and stuff. Um, Found the Speed Racer model sealed. Paid two bucks for it. I don't know if it's worth anything. Um, it's like snapped together, so no glue. It's probably more geared you know, towards kids, so I don't think it'll have that much of value, but I picked it up. Got a sealed uh, VHS tape for 75 cents. Can lock those up. Unfortunately, they just had one. Um, Hunger Game books. These were only a quarter. If they were anything more than that, I would not have picked them up. But for a quarter each, it's only the two. And then this series, I have yet to start hoarding up, but this was a quarter for a hardcover, so I got it. Um, <clears throat> got this 5th gen 30 gig iPod. Um, I did pay up for it. I paid $25. It comes with this case. It was in the case. I took it out, and it's been in the case for a while, and it still has, like, the plastic seal around it, and it has this, like, screen protector. Like, this comes off, but, it like, this... This goes up and protects the screen. So this thing is in like really good condition. I'll have to wipe down the back. <clears throat> but the guy knew what he had. Um, he had it for, uh, for 35 and finally we settled in 25. Like I'll make a little, I'll make some money on it. And it comes with the, the charging, char charging cord too. Um, you know, in situations like this, it's better if the people don't know and you get it for five bucks or something. But um, I didn't find too much at sales. So I did pick it up. And it was interesting because this was, um, like a block that had like four sales on it. And I, I went to the sale first and the guy just had like, I didn't see it, but he had a piece of paper printed out with iPods and stuff, but he didn't actually have them out on sale, but I missed it. And then when I was at another sale, people were asking, the people were asking me what I'm looking for. And I mentioned uh, several things, including iPods. And they told me that the people over there had iPods. And so I went back to that sale and asked and sure enough, he brought it out. He did have some touches too, but you know, I just picked up this one. <clears throat> And then um, <clears throat> these were from a thrift store, Sabres, the same as I got uh, the Matt and Kim shirt. Um, some Fear Street books, some Marlstein Fear Street books. 
um, a Goosebump book and a Harry Potter uh, book three hardcover, first American edition. So this was three bucks. So what they do here is if you buy four books, you get one free, but they, um, they give you the cheapest one for free. So I paid three for this. This Goosebump books was $1.79. It wasn't on sale, but <clears throat> when, I, when I leave these Goosebump books there and try to come back when they're on sale, they're gone. So I just got it. Um, these were this color was half off, so this was a dollar. This wasn't. This was two bucks, <clears throat> and this was a dollar. So like one of these were free, and then you know I paid what I did for these. But um, yeah, that's it. Maybe we'll uh, hit up some more sales tomorrow. All right, I've been in the, in the process of uh, listing these calico critters. I got this lot like. I don't know a few weeks ago and i'm just now getting around to like sorting them out and listing them so i haven't even looked up all of them but i'm just sorting them by you know families like got kangaroos put them in here yellow lab these are like tuxedo cats got elephants pandas two chocolate labs and these are some kind of rabbits but i haven't looked up most of these i just just been taking pictures but i had these little guys these little three pigs you know i'm trying to lot up the animals I still have like this in here. So I was gonna lot up just all like the baby ones together. But uh, since the pigs had three of them, I looked them up and like, turns out just these three little guys are like comping for at least $30 and some comps for even more than that, depending on. So this is crazy because this entire lot, which is all this stuff, these little guys and this whole bucket of accessories that I haven't even gotten to yet, I got for, $15 and the lady threw in a hat. It's in one of my other videos. The hat was a dollar anyways. Basically got this whole set for 14 bucks and just these three little guys are gonna put me in the green. And I still have all this. So um, some of these are like, you know, they retire these, I guess, and some are, they stop making them so they become valuable. So, you know, when I list these, I'm definitely gonna look up all these things before just throwing them up individually. Cause some of these other ones might be valuable too. I'm just not even sure yet. Like I think these guys are uh, pretty good too. But yeah, um, I guess be on the lookout for these things. They're called calico critters. Um, I think they're called something else in um, other countries, but in the United States they're called calico critters. But um, yeah, I only know this because I remember seeing these in stores new and they were pretty expensive. So when I uh, when I found this big lot of them, you know for basically 14 bucks i picked them up and figured i could sort through them and they're uh they're light enough for like a little bag we'll still ship first class throw them in a little box probably ship them in like one of these little things these are i think eight by i forgot what they are but um yeah see they go in there nice in there put a little paper in. yeah it ships super cheap but yeah um I'm sure some of these will come up in future what sold videos, but uh, yeah, I just wanted to share to be on the lookout for these things, and I'll be interested to see like what what other these uh, what these other ones comp out at while listing them. Uh, first thing was this box of Warhammer stuff. Uh, walked up to the sale. It was like a moving sale, so it was uh, there was some stuff on the driveway, and you could walk in the whole house, which I did get other stuff too. But the box was kind of like this. It's like one of the last things I checked, and I just kind of like clipped it open and saw a Warhammer. Immediately asked the lady how much she wanted, and she wanted only three bucks for the entire box. I'm not too familiar with the stuff, but I know there is value to this. Um, I know someone who knows a lot about this, so I'll be able to price it uh, after he can tell me like, what some of the stuff's worth. Like he already told me that it's it's better if their pieces are still like this rather than like taken out like this one they're all like taken out already but yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna take this out and set it up see what we have all right sorry for the lighting it is uh it is late but um so we got all these little accessories and this like some of them are taken out some of them are full but there's like a ton but this stuff all right so like these figures are all like heavy you can tell metal like this guy's a little crystal ball i don't know how old these are or but yeah some of them are cool like this uh this dragon is like sparkle things so there's these 
And then there's like these figures, which are still heavy, but not as heavy, and they have base plates. And these ones are painted, these ones aren't. Um, there's this box, which is Warhammer 40,000. So these Marine guys with the plates might be that. So I'm thinking these are the regular Warhammer. This is some other series. This box also has these tank things and a bunch of Marines. Like these are like plastic though. So I don't know, this might not even be Warhammer or like, I'm not, I'm not sure. I'm not sure about this stuff, but, and then there's this, this one thing still sealed in the package. But I have a feeling these might be, I know this stuff's worth more than three bucks for, for some of this stuff. So I'm definitely gonna have to do some research. I'll talk to the person I know who knows about this and show him and uh, see what he says. But I can assure you this stuff's worth more than three bucks. I just don't know, like this stuff's plastic, but it's just, they have different feels. So, but yeah, this whole box of, uh, and there's still all this just random stuff in here too. It's little accessories and stuff. But yeah, um, I'll, I'll keep you updated on this stuff when I to figure it out, but uh, I feel like this was a good buy. At the same sale as the Warhammer stuff, I picked up all this stuff, uh, mostly books. Um, Soft cover books here were 25 cents, hard covers were 50 cents. That's what I like to see when buying books. That's that's a really good price. Uh, a copy of Hunger Games, whatever. Uh, Game of Thrones, book one, 25 cents, good deal. Um, found a stack of magic books. I found one of these before, I think, in a thrift store, and I thought they uh, I would never come across these again. So I almost listed it individually, but now I found one, I think three more. Yeah, one, two, three. These come in little uh, series, like three, three cycle series, because like the magic sets would come out um, with like three sets in a series. <clears throat> so they used to have the books, like a book for each set. Um, so they're not none. It's not a complete set. These, but these are kind of like these go. This is book three and two for the set, but I don't have one. But I think you can still sell these in like a lot or something. Might keep them. We'll see. And then uh, it was just one of the original Warcraft books. I know they have World of Warcraft, but they originally they had uh, three just basic Warcraft books. So this is book three of that series. I actually personally have book one and two that I've never read yet. So uh, either way, I'll keep this to read and maybe sell this up. I don't know. Uh, found a bunch of Stephen King books. Soft covers. Dead Zone. Just After Sunset. Dreamcatcher. The Shining and Night Shift. So I got five soft cover books. I just listed a lot of ten uh, soft cover Stephen King books, <clears throat> and now I already have five more. So I'm halfway done with getting another lot. And fifty cents for these hardcovers. That's that's a pretty good deal. These are all Stephen King, Needful Things, Skeleton Crew. I believe this is like a short story compilation. Yeah, seems like it. Yeah, because the mist is in there. Yeah. So that's cool. Misery, Four Past Midnight. This one looks cool. Yeah, not too bad. So one, two, three, six hardcovers. And then this is just a pair of sealed, or in the box, Nike goggles. And I paid $2 for these. Um, maybe I'll use them, maybe I'll sell them. Also found some more t-shirts. I got another wrestling t-shirt. This is a John Cena one. All these shirts were a buck. This one's, I guess, I don't know. For John Cena, this is kind of cool. Yeah, got that. Um, got a couple skateboarding shirts. These might be vintage. If not, they're pretty close to it. This is a Black Label shirt. Black Label skateboarding brand. Problem with this one is it doesn't have a tag, so I'll have to guesstimate the size and make sure I put the measurements in the description. It's kind of annoying when you have to do that, but you know, I didn't want to pass this up. These are cool. Here's another one, Baker. It's a skateboarding brand. Uh, same. Wait, no, this one does have the size. Okay. Yeah, that's a old skateboarding shirt. The back is blank. And the last shirt's a Fall Out Boy shirt. This one actually has a cool design. So I think this one will do well. Yep. And here's the last uh, remaining stuff. Uh, first we got this iPod Nano. 
in the case, get the charger. It's like this pinkish, this pink or purple. Um, I've not tested this yet. Hopefully it works, but I only paid $2, so that's really good. At the same sale, I got these Nightmare Before Christmas shot glasses, or in this case, mini glasses. This was a dollar. Um, I got these Nakamichi pets, kind of, I don't know, some knockoff version of Tamagotchi. Um, this was, I don't know, like a bulk thing. I think got, I got these for like a dollar something, like a dollar fifty, a dollar seventy five each. I'm not, I'm not for sure on that. <clears throat> um, this is a book set, the Agile Manager series. It's like all you know, leadership, influencing people, cutting costs, just a whole bunch of like managing irritating people, a whole bunch of like work related manager kind of things. Paid three bucks for this. Um, Harry Potter soft cover book four, 25 cents, really good deal. And then these are uh, candle golf balls. These were free. The person gave, gave them to me for free. And this is a bunch of lead for pencils, like lead pencils. Uh, these were free as well. I, I think some of these vintage old ones have value. Um, I don't know if these are it or not, but for free, I just grabbed them and I can do some research and either, you know, see if I can sell them. If not, I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, that was everything. Um, the Warhammer stuff is, should be pretty interesting and um, I'll keep you posted on it. But yeah, that's all for now.